Hello, everybody. Hello. <laughs> Hi, everyone. My name's Vanessa, and I bought a camera for Black Friday. It was expensive. Anyway, I thought I'd do an everyday makeup tutorial. You know, you can wear this look to to dinner, to work, to school, when you're out saving the universe. So if you want to see how to achieve this look, keep on watching. So first you want to tie up your hair to get it out of your face. In case anyone's wondering, I do start with eye makeup before face makeup in case of fallout so I can brush it away in case so it doesn't ruin my foundation or, or cover up. First we're starting with the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Original. I still have my Squeezy Tube version, which is the one I like the most. I'm really sad that they changed the applicator. Now it's kind of got a doe foot applicator. But uh, once this runs out, I'm probably gonna buy a new one, even though the, the new applicator sucks. It works really well. It keeps your eyeshadow lasting all day, and it really brings out the color of your eyeshadow. We're gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. This palette is da bomb. We're gonna use the champagne color in Vermeer, and we're gonna place it on the inner corner of our eyelids. Really gives it a nice pop there. So just sweep it on with a fluffy eyeshadow brush. I like using a fluffier brush because it kind of pats on the color but also blends it at the same time. Next we're going to use this dark brown color in Cypress Umber and we're going to put it on the outer half of our eyelids. You don't want to make it too angled, you kind of want it looking pretty soft. Blend, blend, blend! Good, now we're going to use Sonia Kashuk's fluffy eyeshadow blending brush. And we're just going to blend out some of those harsh edges. Now we're going to use the CoverGirl True Naked palette in the nudes. And we're going to use the darkest color, Sable. And we're just going to define our outer edge of the eye and drag it towards the middle of the eyelid. It just gives your eye look some depth. Now we're going to use this longer fluffy eyeshadow blending brush, also by Sonia Kashuk. And we're going to use the lightest color there called Fluff. And we're just going to highlight the brow bone, or what I have of a brow bone, Asian face structure. And also kind of helps blend out the top of the eyeshadow color, just so it's less harsh. We're going to use this skinny little eyeshadow brush and we're going to line the bottom of our eyelid with a cypress umber from the Modern Renaissance palette. This just helps give some more depth to your, your eye look. And make sure you blend it out. Or you're going to look crazy. Now we're going to use Bobbi Brown's Gel Eyeliner in Black Ink. And we're going to start lining our eyes with an angled liner brush. I like to start from the middle and then kind of just fill out the sides as I go. Be very gentle with this step. It tends to drag on your eyelids and your eyelid skin is very delicate. You don't want it getting wrinkly before your time, girl. See the difference? Look how big that eye looks compared to that one. Yee. Do the same thing on the other side. Try not to make the uh, line width for the gel eyeliner the same all the way through. Make it skinnier in the middle and then kind of fatter as you go near the end. Now we're gonna wing it out. This step takes a lot of practice, so don't feel bad if they're not even the first time. <laughs> Cause mine sure weren't. Do the same on the other side. Look at that eye makeup. Now we're gonna use this scary contraption. It's an eyelash curler. And we're just gonna curl our lashes here. You can tell I enjoy this step. Not.
And we're gonna use Clinique's Chubby Lash. This mascara actually isn't black, it's purple. But not to worry, I just really like how this mascara fattens your, not fattens, but defines your lashes. Makes them thick and long. We're gonna use the Heroin Make Long and Curl Mascara that's waterproof and just kind of cover up that purpley color. This mascara is waterproof and it'll last if you have oily eyelids. Just make sure you put it on your bottom lashes too. Now we're gonna use Hard Candy's Sheer Envy Primer. Using a primer before adding your foundation or concealer is really important. It really helps blend it out and makes the base nice and even, especially if dry skin in the winter like I do. Look, my skin looks smoother already. Put it on your neck too. Now we're gonna use Hard Candy's Glamouflage Concealer. I have the color medium here. And I just like to dot it on a few places on my face and start blending it out with my hands because I'm ghetto. Not, but I can't afford to buy a beauty blender. It's way too expensive. I hear great things about it, but you know what? I'm gonna use what nature gave me, my own two hands. Blend, blend, blend. Then we're gonna use Essence's Match to Cover Concealer, just a spot treat. Gonna put it on that blemish there. Go away. I'm just gonna cover some of the redness around my nose and on my lip. Now I'm just pulling down some of that cover up down my neck. Now I'm gonna use the Face Shop Lovely Me Colon X. I don't know what it's called. But it's just a, a powder to help set your makeup. Putting it under the eye. And I'm just kind of patting on that concealer just to set it. Sorry if I'm blinding you with the mirror. Look how smooth my skin looks. We're gonna use this contour brush. We're just gonna dip into a dark brown eyeshadow. It can be really any dark brown eyeshadow, and you're just gonna start contouring the sides of your face under your neck. Just to make your face skinnier, because my face is so round I look like a stick man head. And then suck in your cheeks a little bit because we're gonna take that color to your cheekbones. And then just blend it down to where your cheek kind of dimples there when you suck it in. Now we're gonna use Tarte's blush in Fancy Full. I'm gonna use this um, cool looking brush from Sonia Kashuk. We're just gonna smile and put it on the apples of our cheeks. Try and put it on the higher part of the apple because if you put it too low, you're just gonna look like a clown. Look at me! I look alive again! We're gonna use Maybelline's Baby Lips in the color Grapevine. It's like a lip balm with a, a light tinge of purple to it. It also smells really good. Keep your lips moisturized. And look at that! You done, girl. Now you're ready to go out and kick some butt. Or steal some hearts. Or go buy some cake for yourself. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Bye bye.